Well, that's a war that is bound to continue. And with the entrance of technology, there's bound to be a few tiffs here and there. Let's now move on to another story. Though grief-stricken relatives and friends of a fallen KDF soldier were also filled with pride as they escorted him to this final resting place in a village in Nandi. From Wasingishu County, our reporter Masi Kandie tells us why. The sound that signifies the laying to rest of a soldier, this as his colleagues bow their heads, paying their last respects to a fallen comrade. <laughs> then follows the 21 gun salute. The soldier's father looks on, sadness mixed with pride. Lalmoko village was hit hard with two soldiers from the area losing their lives in the line of duty following the Lade attack that happened a fortnight ago. For the Sirikwa family, the agony of waiting for the announcements of their kin's fate was finally over as leaders from the region calling for the support of the KDF. Enroll en masse. It is not a tradition to be cowards. So we must be honest as a country and move beyond the lip service that we give to our soldiers and the people in our security forces. We must ensure that we take it a notch higher and protect. And this has happened in, any other, in many other countries. The leaders at the same time called on the national government to consider introducing a scheme that will protect the welfare of families and dependents of soldiers who die in the line of duty. It's a high time we review something so that even as we take our children to KDF, let there be something. Let there be a security that in case this happens, I feel for the spouses that have lost their young men, their young husbands. He, he deserves respect. He deserves more than what we are doing here. Because for us to be the way we are here is because of people like him who surrender their lives and work for the public and the country for its own peace. Kama mjumbe katika inchi yetu ya Kenya, Tunataka kusema ya kwamba tutasaidia jeshi letu yale mahitaji jeshi yetu watahitaji ili kazi ya Somali iweze kuendelea tuta tutafacilitate nyinyi kamili 23 year old Wesley Kimeli who died in the line of duty alongside other gallant soldiers in Elade Somalia had been enrolled in the forces on November 2013 and was posted to Tamasa in Mandera before being deployed to Elade Somalia he was serving as a private upon his posting after graduating at RTS Moy Barracks Eldoret he then proceeded to Elade in Somalia where he was serving with the army som as the Sirikwa family put to rest their son and the country's fallen soldier, the message from the leaders here is clear that they want the government to look into the welfare of the families of the fallen soldiers. Masi Kandia KTN News, Lelmoko Village, Nandi County.